Hey there, if you want to create a portfolio for your Fiverr account, you are in the right place. So in order to have your Fiverr account, if you don't have a Fiverr as a seller, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description, guys, so you can create your account and you can start getting money from the first day, and that would be today. So how can we upload a portfolio? So as you can see here, I have my account. I'm going to go into profile and in here is going to be appearing all my stuff that I have so far. And I don't have, let's say, like a portfolio per se. I can add certifications, educations, skills. I can link accounts. I can take some test uh, languages and I have a description in here. But in here, what I do have is my active gigs. So this one will be represented as portfolios. So here into portfolios, I can see how is this person capable of doing, uh, for example, wallpapers, minimalistic logos, custom banners, and professional link tree landing page. So for that, you just need to create a gig into Fever and try to make your thumbnail as much as interesting as much as you can. So very interesting as much as you can. So I'm going to hit into create a new gig and depending on what is your gig, you're going to be creating your thumbnail. So before we dig into this, I'm going to go back into the fever section. I'm going to click into my account and switch to the buying section. Let's say that I want to look for someone that creates something related into my niche. So let's say, for example, I'm looking for someone to create, I don't know, maybe a landing page or in my case, I'm just going to look for a YouTube thumbnail. I do not recommend this niche because there are too much services in here. For example, 22,000 services available to it's almost impossible to work uh, as a YouTube thumbnail creator into FIBA because there are lots and lots of competitions, but only for this specific um, tutorial. Take a look here into all the thumbnails. So as you can see, this one looks interesting. This one looks interesting. The problem is that all of them looks really, really interesting. And you actually don't know which one you want to choose. In my case, I think the option that can be a little bit more, for example, like more interesting is this one, because this is one is a edge catching uh, YouTube thumbnail. But if I scroll, I'm going to see that this project is not looking so good and I can see here that the project says 262 and this one says more than a thousand right so what I want to do is to try to look for a color as you can see I don't see a red color I don't see a green color I see a lot of blue I see purple I see yellow I see a lot of whites but I don't see this one is red but I didn't see a lot of red colors so I think I can create a thumbnail with the green uh, background because I don't see a lot of green backgrounds. So what I want to do is to go back into this application called Canva. Now Canva is totally for free, but I strongly recommend you guys to use the Canva Pro because it's really awesome. All the tools that are available here into Canva Pro. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can download out a 14 day trial of Canva Pro and figure it out for yourself if this is worthy or not of your project. So here I'm going to design a YouTube thumbnail. And what I want to do is to look for something. Once again, I want to create something green and I just want to add that in here. Now, I'm not going to be focusing into the design of the specific project in here. As you can see, this is just a thumbnail, but here's the green section. So what I want to do is to share this and go into my fever. So what I want to do is to create now, I want to switch to selling and here I can choose my profile and create a new gig and import here my my thumbnail as a project in here. So as you can see, here's the gallery and I can just do that. But it's really, really important to take a look into the competition because this is the introduction of how people is going to be looking at you. So if you create something interesting like this, I don't care. What I do care is about how you introduce me your work. So there you have it guys. It was really, really easy. And once again, Canva is totally for free, but I strongly recommend you guys to stick around with the Canva Pro. It's a lifesaver Canva Pro. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Hopefully this was a very useful video for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this fever stuff. Thank you once again for watching this video and I will see you next time.